Hey everybody, it's Micah Herbster from Southland Christian Ministries, and I'm about to head over to the camp offices here at Southland and sit down with Brother Mike Herbster to talk about all that God has done here at Southland in the year of 2022, and also hear a little sneak peek of what's coming up for us in 2023. I invite you to come on and join me on this podcast as we talk about what God is doing right here at Southland Christian Ministries. All right, so here we go. Let's talk about 2022. Man, 2022. Can't believe it's almost in the books. Yeah, it's hard to believe. It's been an amazing year. It's been an awesome year. We feel really privileged to be able to sit down with you, Brother Mike, and have a conversation with you about all that God has done this year and excited to kind of recount the blessings and think through uh, the challenges maybe even and the projects and the staff and the different changes that have been going on on here at Southland. It's been a good year for Southland. Yeah, it's been a blessing. It's always a privilege to serve the Lord and we're humbled that God would continue to use us here at this camp and use the facility for His glory. A huge thank you to our awesome staff. We did add some staff this year in 2022. It's always great to add some more servants here to serve the campers and the constituents. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the ministry team, staff members, as well as uh, Scott and Ivy Bratt and um, they got married in, in uh, May and then joined our, our full-time staff and, and uh, yeah. so thankful for each of the staff and all the hard work that they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really what makes the camp run, yeah, I would say. Absolutely. It's, it's not about the program or the property. It's primarily about the people. Yeah, and it's really important that those people come in with the right philosophy mm-hmm. that we have. And, and uh, Southland is what it is because of the people that are serving under that philosophy. And but uh, with that, you know, God's done some amazing things in the property. The property is mm-hmm. important, and mm-hmm. uh, we're thankful for this 170-acre uh, property here in mm-hmm. Ringgold that, in 2022, served a lot of campers. Yeah. And uh, we've made some improvements and um, projects and different things this year, which is exciting. We mm-hmm. uh, added a uh, two-story guys dorm this year that we finished and used for the first time and. Uh, summer of 2022. I think the guys were pretty excited about that. It's yeah, been even, a long time coming. Yeah, even this winter retreat, we had some people really impressed with the uh, the yeah. new cabin. They're like, whoa, <laughs> this is really nice. And so huge uh, shout out to our maintenance staff and our construction mm-hmm. crews and um, really for you know doing a good job on the new, the new cabin. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, we uh, finished um, um, some remodels of some of our motel rooms and mm-hmm. things like that that are here on the property as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, we we're seeing God, you know, allow us to do that little by little. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're in the midst of one right now. I was going to ask, fact. tell us tell us a little bit about that uh, FI project that's going on. Well, we we're just little by little taking a one room at a time and uh, redoing it, kind of bringing it more up to date. Um, again, we're not the Westin or the Holiday Inn Express <laughs> even, but uh, we're trying to make those motel rooms a little bit more into. Uh, you know, a little bit uh, something that is more presentable for the future, and and uh, so everybody's been patient with us on that. But um, we do have uh, plans to just little by little, as as time allows us to, mm-hmm. to uh, take one room at a time because we're still having to use the old rooms mm-hmm. as well. So we're we're in in the middle of one of those projects right now. Isn't that one of those things where as people donate and we receive the funds to accomplish those types of projects, we just yes. are slowly but surely moving through those. Yes, and that's pretty much the case with the people getting a burden for particular things, you know, and, and wanting to see mm-hmm. the facility improve in, in, in different ways. Mm-hmm. I think one of my favorite projects that we officially wrapped up this year was the boat dock project. A lot of finishing touches that have been put on that. It's pretty yeah, exciting to have it's, that done. Uh, that was a long time coming as well, and mm-hmm. many of you had given to that project, and wow, I thank the Lord for Mike Graham, his vision for that, and um, just, uh, it's been a great addition to uh, the facility. It's kind of a focal point, the lake, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a beautiful addition, even at night, lighting it up like mm-hmm. like it, it does. And we've added some boats and uh, did a, bo- uh, a boat shed, yeah. a boat dock shed, I guess yeah. you could say, where yeah. we store things. They spend some good time making that good quality mm-hmm. and, and uh, so where we can keep all the stuff. A little bit of an upgrade, I think, from the last one, oh, too. Oh, my word. Yeah, some of you remember that old <laughs> boat dock. It's hard to Especially. hard to remember, but some of you guys uh, used that old one that was there right by the, the old chapel. So, Another project I was going to ask you about, Brother Mike, is one that maybe not too many people are familiar with that are tuning into the podcast. That is the front entrance remodel. Mm-hmm. How long has that been in the works, and why now? Why well, this we, fall? We had, uh, we had a gift given towards our front entrance, and it's been uh, a, a part of our vision mm-hmm. to redo the front. Um, the front entrance 
was a little unsafe. I wouldn't say terrible, but there's a little bit of a sight line issue coming in and out of the front entrance because of the nature of 371. But also um, we had a, a situation where we had literally kind of like almost a sinkhole coming underneath the, the very entrance. Some of you remember during the summer, we had to put like even a metal grate over top of it. And once we got through the summer and we got into that, we found out that we're really thankful that we were redoing it because underneath it was kind of, the water had kind of uh, eroded away the ground mm -hmm. underneath. So it was really the right time to, to do this project. So we spent about two, three weeks um, the guys did here um, with with our own equipment, doing all the dirt work, mm -hmm. bringing down the hill, making it more beautiful an entrance, and uh, widening in it. And um, the goal is to let that gravel settle for a while, and then to eventually pave the front entrance as well as our other roads. Eventually, mm -hmm. we're going to put a um, a nice um, entrance sign there with a security gate mm -hmm. that can be closed at night. And so that's going to be happening this spring. Mm -hmm. uh, the finishing touches on that will be yeah, happening so then, this like spring. the new gate and yes. What about the pavement? Does that get done this year? Or? We're hoping that it might be done before the summer, but no yeah. promises there. Yeah. I think that's one of those things where people think you may drive in that driveway dozens or hundreds of times and not really think about a need like that. But right. I think it's cool to be able to tell people about even those, I don't know, aesthetic needs that we yeah, have. Yeah, and there's on. also something in to be said about people driving by all mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. this property, and a lot of people in the area still don't really understand who we are, what we're doing. So we had a little sign up there, but this will allow us to put a clear sign of Southland Christian Ministries. People will begin to understand and, and uh, who we are. We've already had people in the community commenting about even the dirt work that we've already done, how we've improved that the look of the front entrance. So it's really that's really encouraging. That's well. awesome. Tell us a little bit about the the new roof on the Gator Glide. Yeah, the, so the Gator Glide is obviously very useful during the summer, and the sun beats down like crazy there for anybody that's up there, both the riders as well as the workers. And um, of course, then also with if we do have rain or something like that, it's also helpful. Um, we've been wanting to do that for a while, but the, those guys did some treacherous work up there, um, way up high, uh, putting on a new roof, and um, that's that's nice. And also, we're going to be adding the slide to the Gator Glide. So on the second level of the tower, on hmm. um, this this coming year, we'll be putting on putting in the uh, the lake slide. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, a lot well. of campers looking forward to that slide. I think. That's a nice new addition, though, especially for the <clears throat> anybody that ever works the Gator Glide. <laughs> They're going to be really glad for that shade yeah. up there. Keep the Gator Glide process cool, I think yes, is a good way to say that's it. that's right. Um, another cool project that we finished up this year uh, was a first for Southland, and that is our brand new recording. And not really a project that you see or you feel or you can like physically lay your hands on while you're here at Southland, but a very important project yeah. that we spent a lot of hours on. Uh, tell us about the kind of the so goal the ministry, behind that and the vision behind SMS and yep. how that's a monumental step for what we're heading so, towards. It's all about ministry and furthering the cause of conservative worship and you know providing materials and resources to our uh, both of our campers and to the churches and recognizing there's real importance in the right kind of music. And so as God allows us to have uh, musicians here on our staff and continue to produce uh, godly music, we want to do so. And Micah Gillespie is a tremendous pianist, an accomplished musician, mm -hmm. also a composer, and some of his uh, um, songs will be um, songs that we produce in the future through mm -hmm. Southland Music Services. And the long-term goal of that is just to provide as many resources as possible for the local church and for the Christian to continue to encourage them in, in what they're listening to in their in their music and also mm -hmm. what the music that they can use in their church. So his recording, Be Still, is a piano recording that's mm -hmm. all of his own arrangements. And it, it begins our, our Southland Music Services recording ministry, which um, again this next year, Lord willing, we'll be doing adding a couple of more recordings to that. And so I hope you'll check that out on uh, the digital format. If you want a physical CD, let us know. We can get that sent out to you. Yeah, that's really exciting. I love that. Kind of in tandem with that is the worship conference, which is how we started this whole year, which was very exciting. Yeah. And um, I love the burden behind what Southland is promoting and producing, both in the physical copy of music. Um, but also in things like the worship conference mm -hmm. and even in our upcoming music camp that we'll talk about here in just a little bit. And the vision behind that to propagate conservative Christian music. Yeah. And to see people getting behind that at a, a conference like the worship conference to me is, is really exciting. Yes, yeah, so we started the year January, uh, the very first week, 
we do it in January because we want college students to be able to come and during the break. It's, a, it's sometimes a tricky time for the adults, but we, we did have about 40% of our crowd that were college age young people. Mm -hmm. And so one of my, my burdens and the burden of Southland is that this conservative worship philosophy would be uh, spread to the next generation and that God would allow us to do that. It's basically um, helping churches and individuals establish the importance find the true identity of what conservative mm -hmm. worship is. It's a real mm -hmm. battle out there. Mm -hmm. And it is an every other year conference. Many have asked about already about this year's conference. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going to have one in 2023. We're doing it every other year. So the next conference will be January 2 through 5 of 2024, mm -hmm. and we welcome anybody to come. Mm -hmm. um, also on the website, theworshipconference.org, um, anybody can go back and, and take a look at the archived um, materials that are there. The, the main sessions especially are well worth your time to watch and to invest some time in uh, mm -hmm. growing your understanding of conservative worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great resource to go back to again and We again hope it can be helpful. Yeah, yeah for a sure. A lot of practical knowledge. I benefited greatly as a young, younger person, even from this year's conference. I do every year, of course, and it's, it's encouraging. Yeah, and then a busy spring. So kind of what we'll do for the rest of the time is move through the year and talk yeah. about the, the different events. Obviously, that is kind of the main mission. Ministry, of the, ministry of the is the goal. I mean, the facility is just helping us facilitate that. Mm -hmm. So the projects that we do in the facilities are important, but they're not as important as the minister ministering growth. Mm -hmm. And so in our ministry side of things, it's so encouraging to see each of the areas grow. We we had a men's retreat, we had a, uh, two couples retreats mm -hmm. and a ladies retreat in the spring. Each of these events is growing at a pretty steady pace. Mm -hmm. And then of course we um, do custom camps and um, around 15 to 20 custom camps that we do per year. And so those come at different times of the year, like uh, coming up we mm -hmm. have like three or four of them in the month of January. Mm -hmm. And uh, generally, um, those range from anywhere between 50 campers, sometimes 35 is the lowest, mm -hmm. 35 campers all the way up to like 200 campers. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of those events during the spring as well. So the spring was amazing. We had Bridge to Campus going on mm -hmm. with our Bridge to Campus students in the, in the spring. I believe we had six students in the, in the fall. We had nine students in the Bridge to Campus program, mm -hmm. which is a combination of dis, uh, discipleship and distance learning with Maranatha Baptist University. And uh, so each of those events has really been a blessing. So what we used to call our off season is not the off season anymore. And so we do have around 15 full-time staff members now that live here at the camp to facilitate uh, what we used to call the off season. So it's a real blessing to host all of these events and to just provide a place for people to retreat away, hear the word of God, get away from what's common and normal and get challenged in their relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And it's a great opportunity too for like adults to attend camp. Well, as we travel, I have people ask all the time, was well, Southland just about young people? Yeah. And that is obviously a huge part of our ministry, but it's so cool to offer ladies retreats, men's retreats, couples retreats where, you know, moms and dads and right. parents and Get couples can come it. and see what their kids are experiencing all during the summer too. Which brings us to the right. most exciting time of our year, the summer. Tell yeah. us how summer camp went and some highlights from well summer from is weeks. the summertime obviously is at the core of what we do I mean we are a generational ministry seeking to pour into the lives of young people both junior camp junior hires teenagers and college students as we believe in the youth of our day mm -hmm. uh, it's a really tough day for young people and uh, we hope that Southland can continue to be a place that builds relationships with young people helps them to know that that we believe in them and that God believes in them and uh, of course, at the core of who we are, you know, we want to help them identify their purpose and initiate more love for God, helping them see that loving God and living mm -hmm. for God is the best thing that they can do with their mm -hmm. life. So we did nine weeks of camp, starting with a week of training with our staff. We had about 70 summer staffers that come from all over the world, literally. And uh, that's always an exciting mm -hmm. week. And then we launched into um, eight weeks of summer camp. And uh, we had an awesome summer with about 2,300 campers that came through the camp. We saw about a, just over 100 lives uh, transformed through the power of the gospel, making professions of faith. And, mm -hmm. and uh, there might be others that we didn't even account for, but mm -hmm. those are ones that we had account and record of. And lots mm -hmm. of other great decisions. And one of my thrills is to see young men called to the ministry and you know, called it to serve the Lord in preaching and mm -hmm. mission field and things like that. And we saw a number of uh, young people do that. 
Uh, lots of new churches, be, uh, around 10 new churches that had never been here before, which is always good to see that growth. Um, but really an exciting summer. And uh, once we got through the summer, we all took a little bit of a breather. <laughs> it's a very busy time. And then we uh, launched into our fall events, which, uh, you know, again, are those adult events that we referenced earlier. Yeah. Brother Mike, you've been at doing camp ministry a long time. How many years now? Uh, around 30 years. Yeah, that's amazing. 30 summers. Basically at summer camp the past 30 years. I probably look that old, don't I? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I feel that old a little yeah. bit. I'm just curious, that many years of camp ministry experience, does a summer like we just experienced in 2022 ever get old? Seeing God work like that, experiencing the excitement, the revival, the souls changed, the yeah. lives changed. Does that yeah. ever get old? To you? Well, to be honest, it, it, it really hasn't gotten old to me. It's yeah. right up my alley. I love what I get to do. Let me just say very boldly that, you know, God works in my heart in a powerful way during the summer. Like when I sit and I get to hear the preaching day after day after day, and I get to be involved in the discipleship and the learning from other people that I'm surrounding myself with, and we see God work, it just mm -hmm. builds, it builds my faith in a greater way. And I love young people. I, I believe in them. I believe there's, it's so important to pass on, to pass the mm -hmm. baton to the next mm -hmm. generation. And that's such a part of who, who I am in my ministry and who our staff is in our ministry. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't get tired of, of what we do. Now, physically, that it's exhausting. At the end of the summer, we're ready for a break. I'm not going to lie. Physically, it's it's time to take a, a little bit of time off, and we and we do that. Um, but because it's basically 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. pretty much every day during the summer, mm -hmm. you know. And then I'm usually traveling on the weekends and you know ministering in that way, trying to just do as much as we can during that mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. And it's exciting to see God work. But I give Him all the glory for for what yeah. He's done. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm super thankful. I know for all the staff here. It just plugs away and so faithful. Years and years and years of time have been spent behind every person here. Yeah. You, Dave Keck, Mike Graham, Cody Bill, yeah. even guys like Daniel Sisk and Eric Hansen, Scott Bratt. You know, it's just incredible to think of all these lives coming together. That's what makes this happen. And it's the servants' hearts of the staff, both the full-time staff and the summer staff. Mm -hmm. We love it, though. Here we are sitting at the winter retreat, and we have over 30 young people that want to come back on their own time and their own dime <laughs> to come to Southland yeah. during their break. Yeah. So something in the relationship that's being built with the summer staff, with campers, is special. And I will tell you, it's not of us. It's not of us. It's of the truth of Christ in us, the truth of the Word of God that's being propagated, the relationships that are being built, mm -hmm. them seeing that living for God and loving God is genuinely the best way to live their mm -hmm. lives. It's a, it's a privilege, yeah. and, it, and I, I think back on the year, and it's been an amazing year. Sometimes we get so quick to move through life mm -hmm. that we don't take time to remember mm -hmm. what God has done, and God mm -hmm. has done some amazing things in this, mm -hmm. in this great year. Mm -hmm. One other ministry uh, thing that we've started is the Southland Ministry Team, and that's mm -hmm. been a tremendous blessing. They've been out ministering in t uh, about 12 weeks each semester, and, and um, Hey, I'd say if you want to have the ministry team, they, you need to have them. Yeah. And my son's the one doing the uh, <laughs> doing the podcast here, and I would yeah. say he's a good preacher. And uh, the ministry team sings well, plays well, It'd be a great help to your youth group. And they're they're out there. Check out the website um, to get some more information on that. But um, that's been a tremendous addition to the year as far as ministry and staff. And and we appreciate the, all the hard work and all the travel and the miles that they're putting on to grow our influence, mm -hmm. mostly just to share Christ, the work of His Word in people's lives, but also to share the influence of Southland mm -hmm. with other people too. So that's been a, a tremendous blessing and a great addition to the year mm -hmm. for sure. With all that behind us now, I mean, we're going into a, a new year, 20, 2022, awesome year. What is ahead for Southland in 2023, 2023. Well, we a lot of the same things will move forward. I believe consistency is super important. We don't need to overly think outside the box. So we're going to continue to do what we've always done and uh, propagate the truth of God in these camps of all kinds. But some new things that we will be doing um, in the summer, we're hosting our first ever music camp. And so uh, take a look at that. It's on the website. It's the last week of camp. 
It's going to be in conjunction with a team camp, but we have a number of wonderful musicians here that will be able to pr provide private lessons, group lessons, uh, be able to work together on, on pieces together, learn some music philosophy, etc. It's going to be a, uh, the, the first year to do it, and uh, we want you to be a part of that. So if you're interested in that, let us know if you have any questions, but check out the website on that. That's something new from a ministry standpoint um, that, that we're doing. As far as our buildings and things, we're, we're working on a project that's a huge project that probably mm -hmm. will not be done for the summer, but it's going to be a two-story building that will house our new coffee shop bookstore mm -hmm. on the upstairs downstairs will be the snack shop and um game room mm -hmm. and so lord willing for summer of 2024 sorry it won't be done for 23 but um you'll see it in progress when you come for for 2023 we'll be finishing up the the front entrance of course and and uh we're adding a couple of other other housing options for uh um for sponsors and staff as well um, but uh, a lot of a lot of little projects going on as well with the remodeling of the rooms and that will continue yeah. and, and uh, things and updates here. Bridge to Campus will continue obviously in this next year and uh, students coming back for their second semester and um, so just a lot lots of ministry opportunities yeah. along the way. Pray for the ministry team they'll be out traveling different places as well um, but a lot to look forward to. God's mm -hmm. going to continue to do a new thing mm -hmm. that's for sure. We're excited excited for 2023 and it's our 30th Year. I was going to say. We started in 1993 at Southland Christian Camp. And so here we come to 2023. It'll be our 30th year of ministry at Southland. I want to say a huge thank you to those who have served here all those years. I forgot to mention this, that in the fall, we are going to be having a, a um, alumni event that's going to be free for any former staff member. And as long as you can get here, it's going to be free. We're going to be... Um, posting that and uh, putting that up on the website. And I've already got commitments from a couple of key former staff members who are willing to come and be with us during that, former directors and former program directors. And so I'm excited about that. You're not gonna give the date away completely, but it's gonna be in the month of October. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, post that, note that, put it on the website here shortly so that all of our former summer staff, former full-time staff, any mm -hmm. Uh, prior staff um, can come and be with us for that awesome alum Southland alumni 30th anniversary event. It'll be a great time. Uh, man, that's so exciting. I can't wait for that. <laughs> well, Brother Mike, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for sitting down with us Absolutely. and sharing what God has done in this great year. And uh, we're praying for Southland and pray that God will do some amazing things in 2023 great things he has done and to that's God right. be the glory. For yeah, we do that. praise the Lord for this. It's all to his credit. God is such a great God. And uh, what he's doing here is not exclusive to us. God is at work in this world. We're just, just the recipients of it. Seeing God do some amazing, miraculous things. And we're so thankful. I want to say thank you to the Lord and thank you to all of my staff and for all the hard work that they put in as well. I hope you guys all have a happy new year. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to the podcast today. I hope that you've been encouraged by hearing of all that God has done right here at Southland in the year 2022 as well as hearing about what God is gonna do in 2023. We enter the new year with great confidence, with great expectation, with great hope that God is gonna continue to use the staff here at Southland and this place to do His kingdom work. And we hope that you'll pray for us. And follow along with us on social media, and YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and our website to stay up to date with all God is doing here at Southland. Thanks so much. Hope you have a blessed new year.